Hey Austin, who are we gonna draw today? Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, Johnny Appleseed. Today is March 11th, which is a good day to celebrate Johnny Appleseed because it's one of the best days to plant an apple tree. <laughs> but there's also another day to celebrate him, which is? September 26th. And that is what day? His birthday. Yeah, his birthday. So we hope you're gonna follow along with us. We're gonna keep this lesson nice and simple, but it's still gonna be a lot of fun. What do they need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yes, all right, let's do this. First, we're gonna draw his nose. We're gonna draw it right here in the middle of our paper, and we're just gonna draw a small oval. Then we're gonna draw a circle over here for one eye, and a circle for his right eye. Then we can also draw smaller circles. I like doing this. To make the eyes look shiny, and friendly. Yeah. And then we're gonna color in the big circle black, but leave the little circle white. Next, let's give him a smile. We're gonna draw a little curve under his nose. And let's draw the shape of his head. We're gonna start over here on the left side of his eye, come over, under, and then back up on the right side of his eye. Yeah, I'm gonna extend the side of his head a little higher so that we can draw his hat. But what was his hat? A pan. And what did he use it for? Cooking. Cooking, yeah, let's draw a pan. <laughs> All right, we're gonna draw a line that comes across the top of his head like this and connects both sides. Yeah, and we went past on both sides. Now over here, let's draw the top of the pan. We're gonna go up, over, and then back down. <laughs> That's a big hat. Yeah. He can cook a lot of food in it. Maybe apple soup. Or apple pie. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw the handle for the pan. We're gonna extend that first line out further. Yeah, all right, now let's add thickness to the handle. We're just gonna draw another line that comes up and back in. Perfect, now let's draw his ears. I'm gonna draw a C shape on the left and a backward C on the right. And then let's also draw a line right here for his hair and over here on this side for the hair on the right side. And we could also, let's color that in. Anytime we fast forward the video, remember you can always- Pause the video. Pause the video for more time, all right. What should we draw next? His body. His body. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna draw a line coming down from his chin on the left and also on the right. Yeah, good job. Okay, now let's draw his legs. And we're gonna draw a V, upside down V in between those two lines. And then let's give him bare feet. I'm gonna draw a U shape right here on the left and a U-shape over here for his other foot on the right. Looks right. Like he's wearing onesies. Yeah, he's got his pajamas on. <laughs> yeah. Let's give him more details so he is not wearing jammies. Okay, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna draw his waist first. We're gonna draw a line that comes across this, the middle, and then we'll give him shorts, or kind of short pants. We're gonna draw a line on each leg. All right, now let's also draw uh, the bag that he would carry, the satchel or his his bag that he carried his seeds in. And we're gonna draw another line right next to it. So that's the strap, let's draw the actual bag. We'll draw a backwards C. Perfect, let's also give him a jacket. Right here, I'm gonna draw a line that comes down and then connects out to the side of his body. If there's a little gap up there at the top, you could also draw like, yeah, just like that. Imagine it going behind the strap, coming down and out, and we'll do another one on the other side. Draw a short line down. This one, we will barely see a little corner sticking out, and then the rest is behind. Yeah, there you go. Boy, I like it. Good job, that side's a little longer. That's okay, yeah. right? Yeah. The most important thing is? To have food. Yeah, and to? Practice. Practice. All right, let's keep practicing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna draw an arm sticking out to the side. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes out, curves in, and back in. Curves around and then back in. 
And then on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Draw a cur or line that curves around and then back in. And you want those to look the same on both sides. There you go. Let's give him short sleeves on his arms. This one's a little bit skinnier. <laughs> it's okay. Now on this side, let's give him a walking stick on the left. So I'm gonna draw a upside down U, comes out of the top of his hand. And then let's draw a line that comes down. So imagine that going through his hand, coming out the bottom. I'm gonna draw a little line at the bottom and then connect back up to his arm. And then I'm gonna draw a circle for an apple on this hand. I'm only drawing part of the circle because he's hanging on to it. Yeah. Then we can draw a stem coming out of the top. And let's add a leaf going the other direction. So I'm gonna draw another curve but then I'm gonna draw a curve coming back for the bottom of the leaf. All right, we did it. Let's add a few more apples, maybe on the ground. I'm gonna draw another circle. And then a stem coming out and another leaf. Let's draw one more apple over here. I'm gonna draw another circle. And maybe this time I'm gonna draw the stem going the other direction and the leaf going the other direction also. And you could really draw as many apples as you want. Yeah. You could also draw a whole bushel of apples, like mm. a big bucket full of apples. Yeah. All right, let's draw a plant over here. Maybe there's an apple tree sprouting out of the ground. So let's draw a bunch of bumps for the dirt. Then we'll draw one stem coming out of the dirt and curving to the right. Then we can draw another branch or stem going off to the left. Now let's add two leaves one on each stem. So we'll draw a curve coming out and then back in. Goes around the top of the stem. It's a little tricky, but you did a great job. Now we're gonna draw another leaf over here. Curve coming out of the stem and then curve back. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing Johnny Appleseed. He looks really cool, except we still need to do one more thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, give me five. We finished drawing and coloring Johnny Appleseed. Do you like coloring? Yeah. I do too, it's one of my favorite parts. I hope our art friends take time to color their drawings also. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.